Ecofan is a smart subfloor ventilator used to reduce heat and damp under the floor that can cause structural damage, odours and mould growth. In this video, we'll give you an overview of how to install Ecofan into a masonry wall. The advice given here is general and doesn't replace the detailed installation instructions provided with the product. Ecofan is a DIY ventilator that can usually be installed in less than one hour. However, we recommend consultation with a professional or licensed trade. If you're unsure which walls are load-bearing, if you suspect there might be pipes or wires in the installation location, or if there's no power point within 11 metres of the installation point. Before beginning, ensure you have the following tools and consumables. Also, you should ensure there is a power point within 11 metres of the installation point. Finally, keep safety in mind when working with power tools, particularly when cutting into masonry. Ensure adequate eye protection, gloves and dust mask are worn. First, select a suitable location on a section of subfloor wall, ensuring that the wall chosen is not load-bearing. It's important to keep in mind that one side of the ecofan has an unguarded fan assembly, so it should not be installed where this unguarded side is accessible to people or animals. Use the fan housing to mark out a cutting circle on the wall. If the wall is brick, it will be easiest if the section of wall doesn't extend past one complete brick at top and bottom. Completely remove the top and bottom bricks and using a masonry drill, cut and remove the exposed section of the two middle bricks. If you are installing into a solid masonry or weatherboard wall, drill 6mm holes every 3-4cm to four centimeters along the marked circle. Carefully knock out the material to form a 250mm diameter hole in the wall. Once the section has been removed, clear the hole of debris so that the vent opening is unobstructed. Check the back of the grill to determine the correct way up for the fan, then insert the fan into the hole in the wall. Using a spirit level to ensure the faceplate is level, mark the position of the four mounting holes. Now remove the fan and drill the four 6mm holes. Insert the wall plugs, tapping them in until they are flush with the wall. Replace the fan and screw it into the wall using the supplied screws. From inside the wall, connect the fan lead to the speed controller. Connect the extension lead to the other end of the speed controller. Then connect the lead from the power supply. Finally, connect to mains power and check that the fan operates without obstruction. Secure the speed controller to the structure using cable ties or the supplied screws. Ensure they are protected from getting wet. Once installed, the vent defaults to auto mode, where the fan speed will adjust automatically depending on the temperature and humidity inside the subfloor space. By pressing the button on the fan controller, you can set the fan speed to run continuously on low, medium or high. The sound from the fan will indicate its speed, loudest on high, most quiet on low. <laughs> 